The model we drove, a Trax Premier with all-wheel drive, costs $29,490. Do a little cross-shopping, and you'll find that's a big number for the meager options list. The most expensive version of the admittedly smaller Mazda CX-3 GT comes with forward collision mitigation, not just alert, automatic high beams, LED headlights, and adaptive freaking cruise control, along with everything on the tracks aside from Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, for $28,610, and that's with extra cost paint. A fully loaded Honda HRV sells for almost $2,500 less if you're willing to give up a few of those safety features. And the Jeep Renegade Limited, which lists some of the Trax's safety items as optional extras, is just a smidge more, at $30,005. The bottom end isn't much better, the Trax starts at $21,895, which is $1,035 more than a base CX-3, $1,630 more than the starter HRV and $2,905 more than a Renegade. We won't break down all the various standard feature differences on the base cars, but CarPlay and Android Auto are the only major things you'll miss by choosing a more affordable rival. Chevy's changes for the 2017 tracks bring about a better cabin and an improved choice of equipment, but the reality is that even after this refresh, we are looking at one of the worst values in the segment. If Chevy wants to build a competitive Trax, it needs more than a few extra safety features and a prettier face, it needs a competitive option set, a more enjoyable driving experience, and better interior materials. Until that happens, we strongly recommend spending your money elsewhere. Sometimes things just work out, with fate conspiring to help you do your job. That was the case with this review, we needed a way to get from our Michigan base to Chicago to test the restyled 2017 Chevy Trax, and it just so happened there was a 2016 model available to make the trip in. It's rare we get to do a direct back-to-back -back test. If there's one thing we learned from the 600-mile round trip and the 2016 Trax, it's that Chevy's smallest goof has a lot of room for improvement. After a full day of city heavy work with the 2017 model, it's clear GM addressed some of its smallest crossovers glaring flaws. This is the cue Chevrolet should have introduced in the first place. Those changes don't really concern the hardware. The Trax is the same basic Gamma 2 based crossover it was before, a sibling to the Buick Encore. It again comes standard with a 1.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder Ecotec engine with 138 horsepower and 148 pound-feet of torque mated to a high dramatic 60-46 speed automatic transmission, with standard front and optional all-wheel drive. Like the Encore, the Trax rides on McPherson struts in front and a torsion beam rear suspension, and the rack and pinion steering has electric assist.